anything. No, wait. No, this trailer park is void of activity. Shouldn't you people be having hoedowns or shooting beer cans or something? Stop wasting film. We have a mythical beast to document. Mine. You're gonna break it. What do you care? You stole it from work. It was in the lost and found bin. It's a victimless crime. He's such a tease. I haven't seen so much as a flip-flop in a year. You don't feel at all like you're exploiting this guy. Uh-uh. What's the point of living in a trailer park if you can't take in the local color? And by that, I mean spy on the freaks. We're all spying on freaks tonight. Talked to any cow creamers recently? Not recently, no. You think maybe he got so fat he can't get out? This door is very narrow. He only opens it for food. It's pizza night, so he'll have to open it wide enough to get that box in. If your poorly chupacabra doesn't emerge soon, I'll be forced to go home and work on my dissertation. I don't call him that anymore. He might be of Mexican descent. I don't want to seem insensitive. What do you call him? Fat Pat. It was Fat Squatch, but... So, do Mom and Dad think you're over here studying Jesus and Zeus and Buddha and all the rest? Uh-huh. So do Mom and Dad know you talk to things that don't talk? It really is impressive how long you've managed to fleece them from your ivory tower of academia. I'm not fleecing. I'm working really hard on my education. Just not right now. Pizza man approaching. Get the door. You get it. It's my mythical beast. Hello? I'll take lots of pictures. It'll be just like you were there. Anything over 500 pounds starts snapping. Oh, hi, Mrs. Beetle. Now, I asked you to call me Mary Ann Marie. No, thanks. Um, I'm really busy. Sorry, kitten. I was just seeing if you had any mail delivered here by mistake. Haven't got my disability checked in months. Pizza guy is leaving his vehicle. Hi. Hi. Uh, no checks. Thanks for coming by. Pizza guy's knocking. Well, the county claims they sent it. Would you mind giving a look-see? Sure. The trailer's moving. A lot. A lot, a lot. I really need that money, doll. It's never been the same since the hysterectomy. And the muffin business has been B-A-D. My mm -hmm. psychic says I need to advertise. The door open? Did he open the door? I gotta Shh. get me some investors real quick or I'll be pulling up state. Oh, no. Well, they already evicted me. Supposed to vacate my plot a week ago. Just keep waiting for my check. Doors open. Can you come back later? Just take a peek. Oh. Whoops. Did you find them, sugar? Well, keep them here. Is that a joke? Keep them here. No, I, I was just asking if you found them. Chupacabra! Oh, there's a shot up. I found this. Is it yours? It has your name on it. Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, no, I didn't find anything then. <laughs> but, but you'll still keep an eye uh -huh. out. Bye. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, God. A hand. An arm. Ah, it's over. No! Close the door. Oh, no, no. No! Your in search of exploits were over. I was feeling nostalgic. Fat Pat reminds me of a simpler time. You mean you were more of a bitch? Or we could just say it was a simpler time and leave it at that. It's not like I was chasing him on a motorcycle. 
You think he's unphotographable? Like a vampire? More like a black hole. Maybe he's so dense he defies the laws of physics and light refraction. I think you admire him. I do admit the whole shut-in thing has a certain appeal. Dress is optional, and there's the part where you get to avoid people. Untied shoelace. Staple it. And other things that talk. You don't have to be a shut-in to avoid people. I'm not a shut-in, and I'm avoiding people right now. But you punch a clock for the man. Fat Pat answers to no one. Ignore him. It's employee evaluation week. I think you're obsessed with Fat Pat because he's a bigger freak than you are. Are these reconnaissance? Are you trying to help him? Who are you talking to? I don't help people. Oh, my baby! <laughs> my baby! Oh, here. <gasps> I think it soiled itself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stop. It's all right. Here, honey, here. What? Nothing. Oh, stop. Oh, baby. Wait, how long has this been stuck in here? Oh, my gosh, my grandmother's ring. I thought we lost this. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> stop it. You need therapy. Some analysts believe Talking to inanimate objects is a way to create a reality that's more supportive. But it's not a reality. It's a delusion. I asked her why she stole your brass monkey. You know what she said? She still has my monkey? She said it told her to, and then she acted like she was kidding. But she wasn't kidding. The monkey talked to her? Like the cow creamer? Totally like the cow creamer. Who do you think she's talking to? You mean, who does she think she's talking to? No, I mean, who do you think she's talking to? She's not talking to anybody. Aren't you getting your PhD in comparative religion? Yeah, so? Moses talked to a bush, didn't he? You're not suggesting she's like that Margaret chick who talked to God about her period. <laughs> I'm only suggesting a state of mind. What are you suggesting? Nothing, she's not talking to God. That would be a delusion. Interesting. What did you just write down? A note. Are you an atheist? As a theologian, I feel it's irresponsible to define myself in those terms. But yeah. A theologian who doesn't believe in God? There, there are more of us than you would think. And yet you're threatened by the idea of your sister talking to God. I'm not threatened. I'm worried. Worried that your sister might be insane or worried that she's not? She has to be. This isn't me. It's humiliating. Don't save babies. You save that baby. I didn't do anything. The baby looks like a human shield in your hands. Thank you. See, this woman knows me. She knows this isn't who I am. This is not who she is. She knows I'm not considerate of my fellow man. Well, you didn't used to be. <laughs> you seem considerate to me. More or less. You didn't know me before. Before what, exactly? Before... considerate things started happening around me. But I know you now. And you think I'm a baby saver. And now everybody's gonna think I'm a baby saver thanks to the Agüehoe Reservation Newsletter. Okay, so maybe not everybody. But the Seneca Indians who read this paper will. I can't have them running around thinking I save babies. I'm 3% Seneca. Then you can tell your people I won't be saving any other babies. Spread the word. Sore feet. Give the lady a chair. Oh. Somebody's using that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. oh man. Oh, no. oh. oh, I don't think they watch what they're doing. Damn. Sorry. This woman is not an employee, and the barrel cannot be held legally responsible for her actions. You know, I just get this shirt, and it reeks like rum. It reeks like rum. There's a towel, but it kind of smells like sour milk. I don't know which is worse. Hi. There's rum in my virgin daiquiri. Dude, that was my daiquiri. Sorry. 
been sober for 20 years, jackass. Thank you. You just saved my sobriety. I didn't mean to. Hey, take that thank you back. I didn't earn it. Where are you going? To a meeting. I had nothing to do with that. Beatles? 